Today I would like to review a pair of movies that I have seen recently on Netflix. Now I don't know if these were originally made for Netflix or if Netflix just covers them now or, or has them uh, available for streaming now. But both of these features uh, um, are entitled Creep. One is called Creep and the other is called Creep 2. And they both star uh, Jamie Duplass. Is that his name? Is that his first name? Or Mark Duplass? Um, uh, this uh, Duplass is um, somebody who's kind of kind of resembles Jim from The Office. Uh, and he's an actor who's been in a lot of um, what a few years ago were called Mumblecore movies, which I actually kind of liked and appreciated the idea of the notion of these movies were that that uh, there was very little uh, aesthetic uh, that they were very uh, cheaply made that was all just about these characters uh, and uh, the dialogue that they have and the dialogue was you know, featured a lot of downtime <laughs> and so it was they weren't you know really the most exciting movies ever but they were kind of um, in some ways, slices of life. That was the idea behind the mumblecore notion. They were called mumblecore because the dialogue was often mumbled, um, and it was very often improvised. So, Duplass, uh, and he has a brother also who's a director. They've they've done some more, you know, mainstream stuff. But anyway, Creep uh, was, I thought, an effective horror movie done in the sort of style of Blair Witch Project, uh, you know, where it's found, found footage and, uh, it's, it's not as much of a headache to watch as Blair Witch is, but, uh, but it's, it's another one in that, I guess there have been many, many horror films now that have been done in that particular style where it's supposed to be somebody, you know, doing amateur filmmaking of, of some events, uh, and, um, and, you know, we're supposedly seeing what's all happening to him uh, uh, while he's filming himself with some a low budget camera or, or camera phone. Um, so Creep is is about a guy uh, who is working as a as a cameraman or a photographer uh, for events, and he gets invited, gets a mysterious invitation from somebody to uh, come to his mountain retreat and film him for a day. And uh, that this guy turns out to be uh, uh, Duplass, uh, and Duplass is this uh, playing this this man who says that he's about to die, and uh, he's got a couple months to live, and he just wants to record his final thoughts for his son. Uh, and so it's supposed to be some some touching kind of uh, you know, uh, well here's here's how to live your life, here's some advice, here's some life advice for you, and whatever, and he just wants the photographer guy to film him as he goes about his his uh, business on, over the course of this day. Well, it turns out that he's uh, uh, a uh, sort of a scary character and uh, probably not telling the truth about uh, his, this, uh, this story, uh, this cover story. Um, and uh, he he ends up leading the cameraman through all of this, these uh, chaotic events. And the cameraman, you know, uh, tries to keep up at first, goes along with it at first. And then, uh, he's in his apartment and his keys are missing and it's nighttime. And, uh, and Duplass's character is this, you know, uh, kind of ingratiating, uh, sort of person, you know, seemingly friendly uh in his um personality <clears throat> but behind the friendliness there's a real menace um and it turns out that of course he's he's a psychopath and uh this is how he finds his victims is through this uh this this routine of putting these ads uh out uh, on craigslist or whatever uh, and getting people to, to come and film him so that was creep that was the first creep. I thought it was uh, an effective horror film, well acted, well made. Then there was Creep Two, and I want to report what happened as I was watching Creep Two. 
Creep 2 uh, uh, was filmed three years later. The first Creep was in filmed in 2014. The, the second was, uh, or was released in 2014. The second was released in 2017. This time around, uh, the, uh, the photographer being enticed, or the photographer or videographer being enticed to, to come out and uh, film uh, our uh, anti-hero, our, our psycho uh, uh, anti-hero. Um, this time, it's a woman. And immediately, like 15 minutes in, I was thinking, nothing's going to happen to her. She's going to be fine. She's, she's not going to die. He's not going to kill her. They're not going to let that happen. Because if they made a movie where a guy enticed a woman to come over uh, and film him and then ended up uh, murdering her, that would be called misogynistic. That would become controversial. That would be called, uh, in, you know, encouraging, called out for encouraging violence against women. It's okay to show violence against men. You know, when the guy, when when the, in the original movie, in, in the creep, the original creep, when the uh, photographer coming over to Duplass's uh, apartment uh, was a guy, then we knew uh, he might not make it. Uh and it's just very interesting today's the level of sensitivity that's out there today it spoils so much uh aesthetically speaking um it spoils so much uh, you know when it comes to storytelling what we're allowed to to the stories we're allowed to tell versus the stories that you know if we tell them you know the way that uh maybe they ought to be told we will uh, end up uh, getting in trouble with certain special interest groups. Um, so Creep 2 was a bust because there was no suspense because I knew uh, that uh, the this plucky heroine uh, was not going to get harmed. And I was right. I stopped watching at about 15 minutes in and then I looked it up and, and looked up the spoilers, and lo and behold, uh, she survives. Now, um, there's some question as to whether the guy uh, himself is going to come back uh, uh, in the end. But the, the girl, uh, who's, who's uh, again, the photographer in the story, no harm comes to her. I mean, maybe she gets traumatized. Maybe she gets freaked out uh, by the experience. But uh, she's plucky, and she fights her. She fights, uh, fights him off, and and uh, and lives because she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. I mean, if if again if the next, if they make Creep Three and it's a guy again, well, no, he's gone. He's a goner. But if they make Creep Three and it's a girl again, then th again there'll be no suspense. I mean, I just think this is all just seriously balmy it's bollocks it's it's stupid it's lame um and uh i'm going to be commenting a bit more about patterns that i see in media because i you know i'm still still a watcher of movies i still appreciator of the uh the filmic genre um but but um you, you see these little you see these things creep in that get in the way of of storytelling that get in the way of you know, satisfying storytelling where there's honest and real suspense. So I uh, wanted to comment on that. Uh, and if you have seen Creep and, and or Creep 2, let me know what you think below. Um, thanks for watching. My name's Amy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.